Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast. Strap yourselves in for one hour of unrivaled audio entertainment. Featuring Little Z. Try to put headphones on and I've got a bucket hat on. This is fucking hard. Hey guys. Pop it one. Hey guys, I'm the one with no hat for our deaf viewers. No, blind. Blind. Director Connor. I have a hat on for our deaf and blind viewers. Deaf viewers. <laughs> and special guest. The Banana Boys. What oh, up? It's me and Jackson. <laughs> We're wearing banana shirts. Sorry what? to our deaf viewers. <laughs> Who are just seeing the visual with no audios. Also our blind listeners. I was saying for the blind listeners. Yeah, they're enjoying it. Yeah, yeah. So we brought back the intro because the top comment on the last video was, please bring back the intro. It's so awkward without it. Did we not do the intro last time? No. Oh, true. You weren't here. But to be fair, the the top comment on the one before that was, get rid of the intro. That's true. We're sick of it. So the comments of this podcast are going to be the decider. They will determine. It's it's 1-1. So you guys have been on a bit of a journey. Yeah, no podcast for the last two weeks. Sorry, guys, but it was it was too noisy where we were. Yeah, too much going on. You've been traveling around Australia, yeah, looking we went at from the big fruits. Perth to Cairns, down the bottom side. Do you want to explain what the big fruits even are? Because that's very They're confusing. They're fruits <laughs> that are big. And well, Jackson, you're not really selling it. If you, if I may. Well, that's correct. They're not just <laughs> big fruits. <laughs> They're a whole experience. I can't really get through this without laughing. Um, so this was a video that we filmed on my channel. We filmed a couple videos. Like Jordan said, we drove across Australia, which, fun fact, is about as wide as America, if That's you guys big. can't imagine other countries. There's a lot of so- driving. Sometimes people can't. Yeah, a long way. Uh, what were we gone for, like 15 days? Yeah, something Which like is that. so quick to do it. I told Holly you guys were gone for two weeks and she was like mind blown. Because yeah, it's well, like people go around Australia in like months and months. People were, whenever I tell them, oh, did you see this? I'm like, we didn't really have time to see anything. <laughs> well, <laughs> we we saw a few good things. We saw a few yeah, good things, but mostly was head down, bums up driving. And big fruits. And big fruits. <laughs> Which are plastic, by the way. We haven't met, or whatever, the, they're buildings. We didn't yeah, mention like that. Sculptures, yeah, people I guess. Must be, yeah. yeah, so, I mean, they have a few big things in other countries as well. It's like the phenomenon where there will just be like, oh, like this is a random country town. And it's like, any reason to stop there? No. And then it's like, now we have a big prawn. And yeah. it's like, oh. And they make that their whole theme. That's like cow them up. You guys yeah. know cow them up? There's a place in WA called cow them up that just has a bunch of cows and like a cow shop and yeah. a cow candy store. Pretty good. It's a good bit. If you have a failing village or town, <laughs> put give it a theme. Give what it would a- you, if you had a town, what would you put a big one of? Basketball. Nice. Yeah. The big basketball hoop. And if anyone can dunk in it, oh. they get like a prize. Yeah, that's good. They get a, a basketball. A match against Jordan himself. Whoa. That's a huge prize. And not Michael Jordan, as people might no, no. mistakenly <laughs> make. Jordan the, big, the big basketball Jordan. Jordan and he Ridley. plays basketball. <laughs> yes. Um, so we visited all the fruits because there's like 200 big things in Australia. Whoa. So it's like way too much to actually visit them all. I've got one of them. Sorry. Um, <laughs> What's that, Jordan? <laughs> Imagination. I thought that's what your hat was for, Jackson. <laughs> oh, the big banana. Fun fact, the big banana was the first one of them. So that's oh. sort of part of the reason why- She we- said in the world. Yeah, I think so it was. The biggest banana in the world. No, the was- first big thing in the world is yeah. what she told the me. The first big thing in the world? Yeah. 100%. 100%. I don't believe her. It was. Okay. Wait, when was it? Do you know? 60 years ago. That can't be the first big thing. All yeah. right. Well, comment below if you there find you another first. 64. First wow. Yeah, 1964. It is a good one. I feel like that's the best apparel to wear, the big banana, compared to any other fruit. Well, there wasn't much choice for apparel. Most of oh. them didn't have it. Well, the bananas yeah, got Yeah, some of them were a well. bit disappointing. Some? As we found. <laughs> some for me, maybe all of them for Jackson. <laughs> did you see the dog of the tucker box in Gundagai? We Holy sure effing sh- did. <laughs> and that was the that? best thing we saw, the dog of the, dog of the tucker box. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's the best. <laughs> it was- Jordan, I don't I'll have think, to wait to see Zach's video. Yeah, I don't think we can describe it. I think okay. you just got to experience the Is that getting in the, the video? Box. Yeah. Yeah, because I did talk about you it all the time. Shut up about it. <laughs> it was the sickest thing we saw. It's like I can't include any audio clips without a little dog in the toggle box. <laughs> <laughs> the, trying to cut it out of Jackson's microphone. Yeah, no, dog in the toggle box was fine. Okay, I'll have to wait for that one. That was the best thing we saw by miles. <laughs> really? Better than any fruit? Better than, way better than any fruit. Well, Whoa. for Jackson. Yeah, and what about you? 
Uh, what the best thing we saw? The yeah, best fruit or dog on the tucker box we saw. Uh, best fruit was probably the big pineapple. Did like that one. Yeah. What was the best bit other than the fruits? I think like, probably the e- blue mountains. Every, everything was better than the fruits. <laughs> if I'm honest. Um, <laughs> About so the big fruits, which are a big uh, waste of everyone's time. Don't we- bother. <laughs> Watch Zach's video and stay home. I kind of meant more so about just traveling together for two weeks. Was anything good come from that? No, or? no, no. Good. We <laughs> hate each other. One good bit. <laughs> okay. No, no, should we go sort of in order? Like what we did. We also played the world's longest golf course. Yeah. Whoa, Australia's got a lot of big long things. We've got a lot so of space. Yeah. Wow. One That's of them true. apparently you have, Jordan. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's true. There is a lot of space to do it. Yeah. So the the world's longest golf course is like each hole is just like a regular sized hole, but then they're spaced like a hundred kilometers apart. At like, Terrible. At like each country town. So it's across the Nullarbor, which is where I was trying to sell lemonade, <laughs> aka the world's like most boring drive, people call it. Yeah, mate, because there's just nothing. It's just a long straight yeah. road in the desert. Nothing except every hour or two, you get to play a hole of golf. Wow, to keep you entertained along the way. It was pretty fun yeah. in the end. Like, golf sucks, but I feel like it made it less I think golf was more fun boring. looking back on it. At the time, yeah, we, were, <laughs> we, we were sick of golf. You we didn't weren't like really it. looking forward to each hole. But every time I was like, fuck, get the, get the golf clubs, drag them out the RV, set them up. That's so be funny. so shit at golf. And was it a- actual like golf? Like no. you had to. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, what? It, yeah, it was. But like the, it's like red dirt and rocks and trees. But you had to drive it pretty far. Yeah, yeah. five hundred meters. Some of the courses. Whoa, that is big. Holes, whatever. Yep. So we started That's adding big. some rules to just help us. Like you can throw the ball once per hole. <laughs> like, yeah, we're getting That's stuck good. in every bush. And Golf's really hard. It yeah. is. Also, I apologize. My eyes are watering. I think I've got some hay fever going on. Go I wash must your have eyes. Seen my engagement video that I just. That's posted. true. I'm crying out. Should I wash my eyes real quick? I would. Okay, yeah. I'll do it. You won't look back. Sorry about um, that. Sorry, brief intermission. Yeah. Um, what were we up to? The golf. 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 Yeah. yeah so golf. we played golf. That I think. Like, looking back, it would have been a lot more boring if we didn't have the golf. Yeah. If we got to get out and stretch our legs a little bit. There was really nothing to see on the Nullarbor. It's true what they say. How, uh, Australia's how long biggest is windmill, though. Like the windmill um, huge, museum. A huge windmill. A windmill museum. Yeah, yeah museum. Phenomenal. Can't be in a building, can it? No, it wasn't. Okay, yeah. It yeah. was <laughs> in a parking lot, basically. <laughs> A lot of big windmills. <laughs> a lot of big windmills. How do you have a museum? What does that mean? They've taken them in? There from was other like, places? what, or 10 they, windmills? Or they've uh, rebuilt yeah. them? No, they've like been donated the windmills. Wow. And they relocate them to this windmill museum. That seems difficult to do. Was it cool or not cool? A lot of airtime for the windmill museum. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I, it doesn't deserve <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at it myself. Like there's just a lot of things that when you get there, you're like, oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah fair like enough. That. Like a lot of it, stuff like the Blue Mountains, I feel like we spent as much time. No, that's we spent a, lot, a fair bit of time. But compared to how much there was to do, we probably spent too much time at the Windmill Museum, for example, <laughs> and not enough at the Blue Mountains. But yeah. that's kind of the way it had to go. Because yes. for a video, us looking at the Blue Mountains is not that no. interesting. No, I would want to see the windmills. Yeah, exactly. How long is the Nullarbor? Like hours? Days. Whoa. Isn't it? Days. Yeah. yeah. I think it spent us Far four... Out. Or like from Perth to the other side of the Nullarbor oh, is about four days. My God. Where does the Nullarbor take you? To Adelaide? Yeah. Pretty much. So yeah. it's at, like for those of what, that's the closest city to Perth. Is it yeah. really? God, it was like a few days drive. Let me get up how many hours that's that crazy. is. I think it's 32 hours. Far out. There you go. Oh my the God. The closest major city. Um, and it's a lot of red dirt and just plains of shrubs just yeah no, no trees no which trees, apparently just that's what nullarbor means null, nothing null means no and arbor means trees I think. oh yeah it adds up uh, wow but then every now and then you can go to like a lookout along what's called the great australian bite which are these like big cliffs that are along the coast yeah but they haven't built the road they haven't built the road out near the cliffs so it's you like, don't get to see it. Yeah, most of the time you don't get to see it. There's oh, like that's so grim. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Then it'll be like turn for a lookout, and it'll be like a beautiful view. Yeah, that was really nice. Oh, they, if they that. just moved the road a little bit, and you were just seeing that the whole time, that'd be so cool. Yeah, but they probably thought maybe the cliffs would fall, and then like that's a good point. They probably uh, do. You wouldn't want to so rebuild often. that road. No. no, that'd be a bit rough. Imagine Twenty-eight hours it is Perth to Adelaide. Twenty-eight hours, yeah. and how fast are you going? Can you go like as fast as you want? You can go four hundred kilometers now. Jesus <laughs> Christ! But we didn't. <laughs> okay, the RV okay. could barely make it no, over 100 but days. even imagine being in any other country in the world and you could travel for 32 hours dead straight going like i don't know 100 and something k's an hour yeah You'd be in like 
80 different countries, yeah. probably. Yeah, and Europe yeah. you would be in a lot of different countries. Wow. We it's are just, crazy. very far away. That's that We did yet see pretty much all the different types of, um, what would you call it, terrain, I suppose. Yeah, that the, was really cool. The Nullarbor to like Sydney's got a lot of trees to like the tropics of Queensland. Oh, yeah. yeah it felt wow. like uh, someplace in Asia or like... Extremely Queensland. tropical yeah. rainforest. Have you been? Sort of I've been once, but when I was a kid. But I do remember it's a bit sweat. It's like barley weather. Yeah. A bit sweaty. It's nice. I, I didn't like know we had so many different vegetations in Australia. What? Wait, what did you say, Jackson? You were like, it's like going in another biome in Minecraft. <laughs> that's really what I was thinking. I couldn't put my finger on what I was thinking about, but that's what go. I was thinking. No, I th- I think Great minds think alike. Yeah, come and find a bit of Minecraft. I think actually. we were at like a really beautiful lookout and you were just like, oh, it's, it's like Minecraft yeah. in real life. And I was like, you asshole. Zach was not happy <laughs> no, with that that's comment. Like, I love that comment because Minecraft is so much more beautiful oh than real God, life. So much and better. And you get to change the scenery a lot. That's cool. Yeah. I suppose you don't need to drive for ages to get to a nah, nice lookout in Nah, you just hold W Minecraft. for about a minute and then, and then yeah. you're good. You're good. <laughs> and you can just sleep while you hold W. Was anything Was anything bad? Big fruits? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they uh, kind of comically, there were a lot of disasters at the big fruits that ended up happening. Yep. Like, do you want to talk about them or um, they sa- how much do you want to say? Like I did this treetop adventure and then it started <laughs> raining on me and I got stuck behind the slowest lady in the like treetop course. Wait, you walk? This is at the pineapple. You know what treetop course is? So you get like harnessed in and you oh, go up no. and it's like challenges. There'll be like wooden bridges and swings and that to get from one side to the oh, other. that's so cool. And I got stuck behind this lady that had a crippling fear of heights. So not cool. And that then sucks. you had to do the beginner course first before you moved on to like the advanced one. So like Oh, we were, this was the beginner course and yeah. you're waiting for it. And then the line for the intermediate course was like looking like it was going to take like 45 minutes. So I just oh, wow. left the treetop course early. Damn. But Jackson had gone to get lunch and he had my phone so I was just stranded by myself. <laughs> Wait, and the why worst did you part have his phone because like you couldn't take it on the yeah. course. Oh, okay. And I went to go get lunch, but I um, got stuck on some scenic drive that was about a twenty-five minute round trip. And I thought I'd better head back. And then I Far and out. when I got back, Zach was sitting on the side of the road like an abandoned schoolboy. <laughs> was it raining as well? <laughs> like uh, sprinkling. It yeah. had kind of stopped raining at that <laughs> That's point. That's brutal. That gives me flashbacks to just waiting at waiting school. for Papa. My mum would be. She would take a while, Mum. I know you're listening, but she would be like, "Oh, sure, I'm late. I just thought I should do the shopping first. Yeah, you're oh. like. What? <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> it's Hope so there's some good shopping. <laughs> so but it's long. all wholemeal bread, and you're like, ah. I like wholemeal bread. Yeah, wholemeal bread's good. Yeah, yeah me you, too. You, <laughs> when I was a, when I was a what? kid, now when I was a kid, I was on that Wonder White shit. Oh you know? man, privilege. That's good. I remember once no, when I was- No, that's the cheapest stuff. No, but it's privileged in terms of taste, but in terms of your health and your right. future- Isn't it? I reckon white bread sucks. Yeah, you know what? I've come completely around on it, and I agree, big time. What's your favourite type of bread? Sweet potato. <laughs> That's a vegetable, George. <laughs> but in terms of like when you would have bread, I would rather just have a potato. Nutella on sweet potato. Nutella what? on sweet potato. <laughs> what are you- Nut on Ella. What? Nutella? <laughs> Nutella. That's not the question, dude. <laughs> I don't you want said sweet- to me, what's your favourite type of cereal? And I said chocolate. They're different things. No, but you wouldn't. Oh, chocolate with milk is good, yeah. I'd rather have <laughs> this guy. Wait, so. so. Can we start again? Favourite bread. I'm going to go with. Can we get off the bread? Yeah, let's move on. Um, we didn't even start. <laughs> okay. Jordan says sweet okay, potato Jordan. and then said nut on Ella. And now we haven't done anything. <laughs> So what's your favorite type of bread? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, <laughs> maybe wholemeal, but probably no well, ancient grains, maybe. Ancient but when I go to Subway, I get um Italian herbs and cheese. <laughs> Glad we got that sorted. Yeah, what about you, Zach? For me, it's Maya's low carb bread and it's, again Italian herbs cheese at Subway. <laughs> if we're doing that I go for the multi grain at Subway. Now, we, what else did you guys get up to? There's going to be some more, but big vegetables. Any uh, any good no moments? sweet potato? You'd be sad to know. <laughs> Speaking of bread, uh, Jackson got me into Guinness. Oh, yeah, that that, was, that's a very bready. The healthiest alcohol. Yes. Yeah. Have you heard? I have heard from Jackson. Jordan yes. actually got me started on it. Actually, no. Wait, you drink Guinness? No. No, but my dad oh. drinks Guinness. Because I got one at the pub when you didn't come one time and Jordan says, oh, my dad says that's really healthy or what, something like that. It's some bit like that where it's like, <laughs> I don't know if your dads are like this, but it's just like a good excuse to like drink mm. beer. It's like, well, it's the healthiest yeah. beer. So then I looked it up and we found out 
It's pretty good. It's actually got Would some antioxidants. It's got some other. Jackson's been on a fucking spiral. If he heard like, "Oh, healthiest beer," and then when he when he brought it to me, he was like, "Zach, you got to get on the Guinness. It's got dietary <laughs> silicon. It's got folate, iron, B vitamins." Yeah, because we looked it up to be like, "Is he taking the piss?" But no, there's actually some facts. A bit of facts about. But it. overall, I'm sure it's still terrible for you because no, 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 it's quite good. <laughs> Very healthy, <laughs> healthiest one. Yeah. Um. So I feel like I'm. It was feeling like a cult to me the way. Like I had like a can of Guinness, Guinness and I was cult. like, mm, this tastes like shit. Jackson's like, no, no, wait till you have it out of a glass. Ooh. And then we were trying to find glasses at the next like three towns. They don't have glasses in these towns. Oh, well, well like, not that you could just drink get a, from like a, a Guinness shop. out. No. Wow. Because like our van just had small sort of like, you know, water glasses, which you couldn't really pour a Guinness into. And then, and then, so we found some glasses and it was slightly better. Yeah, and then Jackson was like, "Wait till you have it on tap." Whoa! And then, then it, we're trying to find it on tap the next like five towns, <laughs> and then we got there. And by that point, I was very much liking the taste of it. Is it like anything where the more you have it, the more 100%. you like it? Guinness, you've got to have a bit of it to start liking it. I think is that just an alcohol? I know it's a caffeine thing. Is that an alcohol? Well, it's because too? alcohol and caffeine release uh, dopamine into your brain, and so if you have something enough. And your brain will just start to like it. It's a very habit releases. for me. Yeah. I've heard Andrew Huberman talk about that with for caffeine. <laughs> right. How yeah. it's like, your brain is like, whoa, what was that thing that we did just before? Because now I feel great. Yeah. And it's like, oh, it was the coffee. Yeah. I love that now. That's like Guinness. Yeah. Oh, that's why beer tastes bad to everyone at first. Yeah. Every, yeah. Is it every alcohol. But <laughs> Guinness is even more because your body's like, wow. Dietary silicon? <laughs> Holy I'm feeling, shit. I'm feeling really healthy. What did we have? What, that, did we just have? what was that health drink More we just that, finished please? having? <laughs> I feel like an athlete. Oh. You don't really you just feel I feel like you just have a big stomach after that. What? Guinness. I don't find it that thick like everyone does. Whoa. Anyway. So anyway, now I love it. And I'm You're in. fully in the cult. Oh, I'm drinking man. the Kool-Aid in the form of Guinness. Now I feel like having a Guinness. Yeah, at lunch. lunch today, Jordan. Whoa. We'll get you in. I'm trying to cut though, so it's probably not the best thing No, for it's that. quite low in calories. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is what I had compared to- Compared to water? Or? <laughs> this is what yeah, I was, to water. <laughs> what I was to hearing for the first like week of the trip until I was also on the same- like, so funny. I feel like- It's such a low bar though, comparing it to other beer- <laughs> it's like yeah mm. it is healthier than other beer but probably better to just drink nothing but that's so not as fun to say it's interesting spending like two weeks together because i feel like it's sort of it's almost like an echo chamber but like between us like i couldn't get away from the healthy guinness so by the end i was just fully on like yeah, wow. the guinness. did that get like, you with anything uh not the fruits unfortunately <laughs> 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 if anything, you came to my side of not liking the fruits. Um, yeah, pretty much. But uh, we played a lot of pool as well. Pool? Yeah. Where did you play pool? Like there every is pub. Fuck all oh, doing these small towns. Oh, they got pool. So we would drink beer. Uh, I haven't drunk since I got back, basically, because it was um, so much. A lot that's, of drinking. That's like any country town or like place like that that yeah. I hear of. It's like they do nothing other than just drink. Yeah. It's like, what else you got to do? Yeah, literally. It sounds pool. pretty grim. Play pool as pool. well. Pool's so like, one. yeah, every pub we went to, well, like oh, the small towns, it's like, what is there to do? They'll have a pub and every pub will have a pool table. So we must have played like 50 games of pool. Plus, Whoa. yeah, we played hey. So we're going to do the underdogs pool video. No, I'm going to be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> my dad has a pool table. So oh, I'm in shambles. we can film that fairly easily. And I feel like we're having uh, some good times. A good time. Pool is yeah. good, actually. I've done pool every now and then. And it's really cheap if you guys are looking for like... A thing similar to bowling to do with your friends that is actually that's a good point. I hadn't we'd spent a lot of money on pool. They oh, were like really? three dollars a game, and half the games I would instantly sink the black, and we would just lose the three dollars. Oh, it was per game. Yeah, but still is, that's cheaper than like so cheap. Three dollars. Yeah. I hadn't really nothing. thought about that. I was like, it's so expensive, but when you consider it like bowling or bowling is like nuts. That. I was yeah. spending $15 on five games of pool and then like, oh, so expensive. Then paying 15 bucks for one Guinness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dude, food is the biggest sucker for that where yeah. it's like, you don't feel like, oh, dude, I don't want to get Netflix. It's $10 a month. Yeah. Go to a cafe, spend 35 bucks on like on eggs. <laughs> avocado and yeah. eggs. Yeah. You're like, Hang on. Something's not adding up here. Yeah food, yeah. food and drink is a sucker for that. I have noticed. I hope the um, Guinness narrative gets weaved into the video because it was... Oh, we, definitely. At first, we couldn't find Guinness in these small towns. Oh. And then, we, like Zach said, cans, then cans and a glass, then Ooh. on tap at the end. Wow. 
What a yeah, story. Yeah, no, it was definitely... It was a, a better arc than the fucking fruit, I'll tell you that for free. <laughs> we had a whole three-arc structure with the kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fruit sounds like it would just go downhill more and more. Unless um, one of them was, at the end, was amazing, but... Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe. Jackson's shaking. You'll have to see the video. We'll have to see in the video, There yes. were good ones at the end. There were bad ones at the start. It was just... You'll have to see the video. I will. Each, I will. Each fr- I will say this. Each fruit had a few surprises in store for us, whether good or bad. Wow. I'm hooked. Mostly you've, bad. You've got me. I've no, got, no, no, no. I've got to watch the video. I've got... I'm so hooked. Back to the road trip. Okay. We didn't talk about one part of it, and oh, it was a big oh, part. Okay. What we did in the car every single day. I don't want to hear this. <laughs> Driving. <laughs> Driving, both hands on the wheel. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing else. What? What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, go on. What and did I you and Jackson one, do in the, the car? Driving. What did you and Jackson do in <laughs> the car every do, day? I was doing a lot of driving. <laughs> all right. I don't understand how that's even a joke. <laughs> yeah. We, we, it's it's not not a joke. talking it's about some sexual shit? No, it's not. It's not a joke. Okay. We played the car song game. Yes. Oh, yes. Where you have to guess the name of a song. Yeah. Do you actually know? That's it, right? Yeah. Well, no, you do. But <laughs> How did you say, do you actually know when he got it right? But it's not just that. Go on. You got to guess the name of the song before the other person and the winner gets a point. Oh, okay. But what we would do, we would download like a playlist of like top hundred of the seventies or the eighties or that makes like sense. a decade. And then, uh, we what would, was the first decade? You started with seventies? No, we started the first with, one we started with was 50s? 2012 to 2014. Oh, that's very specific. Yeah. We didn't know what we were doing in the game at the beginning. At first, we actually started with songs to sing in the car. Oh, uh, yeah. That would be some easy ones. Yeah. Some layups. Yeah, no, some. they were a lot of shit too. Oh, but, okay. But the 2012 to 2014 was maybe the worst playlist we'd ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> Do you reckon I would like it? What do they got on there? A bit no. of Justin Derulo. Justin Derulo. <laughs> You'd hate it. Wait, is that his name? <laughs> Justin Derulo. Jason Derulo. Oh, I don't know his name. My Justin bad. Derulo. Judging by that, that you would close. despise this playlist. There that was, was like, close. It was all pop or shitty EDM, and there was no hip-hop or anything alternative or anything good. What's interesting about playlists, we learned, is that people have taste, and that taste doesn't always line up with your own. That's Yeah, that's so true. So we did some Spotify playlists, like the 80s was Spotify and that was reasonably even. Mm-hmm. But then when we did the 90s and the noughties, the guy that made them, or we're not sure what the situation is, but seemed to like pop punk and uh, pop punk. R- rock and stuff like I that. I would be a in lot. shambles. I was, and Zach was very quick at those oh. two genres. Oh, yeah, like, see, you play drums. Yeah. My theory is that's just what was popular at the time, but the more we sort of looked into it, no it did way. seem like this guy was a little biased. Yeah. But the thing is, we'd have to download a playlist because yep. then we're going out of reception because it's like... We only get reception in each small town. Yes. And so we'd have to download one and we can't change it. So we really had to commit and we couldn't check any of the song names because that would give someone part. an advantage. You can't look at what's in the playlist because yeah, otherwise be like, you know what's good? there. So Wait. you kind of have to look at the first one. We do three songs and then go for it. I didn't put that together. So you wouldn't have reception for a lot of these driving. Is that 100%. scary? Um, like, did you have any moments where you're like, oh, like the RV was like a bit iffy or something? No, no, not oh, really. There was good. one moment where we were in the middle of a national park in the fucking jungle. Oh yeah, we and had Jackson no was like, Is this oh, I forgot to say, we had to get fuel at the last town. Oh no, and we had like we 45 kilometers left. Oh. Yeah, luckily we were fine, but just. Jackson looking Never over. Never in doubt. <laughs> That's so scary. Looks at the fuel and says, oh, I forgot we had to get it at the last town. And now we were halfway Fuck. through this national park. I'm not perfect. I've no. learned that about myself on the trip. Fair enough. No one's perfect except for my dad. I was going to say it's for me. In- <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting except that you for thought God. you were perfect before the trip. I was pretty perfect, yeah. Oh, yeah. you! But the fuel thing—that's my first mistake. Wow! And that, I, I tell you, I took it hard, <laughs> and I've learned. And I'll never I'm, make it again. Yeah, I never made that mistake again. <laughs> oh, actually, the other thing about not having reception—we made a couple wrong turns, and because it's like just straight road, we didn't notice each time for like forty-five minutes, oh. and had to go back the other way. <laughs> Do you even have Google Maps then? Is that still working? Sort of satellite, sometimes. right? We would have it if you play if you start it before you go. It's yeah, just pretty it should good. Work. But like, you can't just like start it in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, because we're like, oh, I wonder if we took a wrong turn because it's starting to look a bit like we're in the middle of nowhere. Oh hell, like no. more than the middle of nowhere, I guess. That's. Scary. I wonder if other places get that. Like, just I know that sounds a bit weird, but like in America, there's lots of big cities even in the middle, like the capital of Ohio. Yeah. Is, um, 
still a pretty big city compared to Alice Springs in the middle of Australia that's got like 10,000 people. I would imagine yes. there's a lot more like driving, uh, not driving, what's it called? Signs yeah. in America. Yeah. Whereas it was not really much signage. There's just nothing I mean, going not on. It's just America, but Go like Europe's way. full of people everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. You kind of be like, oh, I guess we went the wrong way because we're in the wrong country. And they're all talking a different accent now. Yeah, they're yeah. like, oh, whatever they are doing, <laughs> British. <laughs> yeah, pop out and try to ask them, are we still in England? And they're just talking in Hungary. They say, oh, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, back the other way. We uh, took a wrong, wrong turn one. 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Who yeah. won the game? Or is um, that spoilers? Zach won... It was reasonably even. I think Zach won more than I did. Zach won the nineties and noughties. Pop punk carried. Oh well, well, what happened? Yeah, Jackson won more of like the eighties and the hip hop playlist and stuff. I won the eighties. I won the song "Single in the Car." Wow. Uh, the tens. I can't remember. You won. No, nah, don't know. I don't know. But I think we forgot to mention the reason why this game didn't get. Uh, really boring and it lasted us like 14 days straight of like eight hour Whoa. drives it's because we were also ranking every song oh yeah which was oh. a big part of it wait what do you mean you're keeping track of every yeah, song yeah so someone yeah. was driving and someone no had the book no way and so, the book so got, you have a book right now I should have brought it yeah, oh my god it's got I don't know what 20 plus pages of just like Gangnam Style <laughs> S. Pages. And who got the point? The things you do without the internet, eh? Yeah. That's um, crazy. What do you reckon? Because we did, there were 100 songs a decade. We probably did about six or 700 songs that we ranked. Oh, my God. Yeah. And then the S tiers and the A tiers got put in the best songs of all time playlist, which I've made on my Spotify. Yeah. Whoa. And then on the last day, we played the car song again with the best songs of all time. And we had and a we great were, time. We were so speedy on those. Now, I I don't know. I get the feeling Zach and I would be in the top 1% in the world at this game. We are I believe so you. That's fast. so much time. That's probably why they, like, you know, back in the day, they got like crazy architecture on churches. Right. Because mm. they, they probably had this going on. Yeah. They're like, well, what are we going to do? Yeah. But instead, they built churches yeah. instead of what we did. Well, you've ranked the songs. That's yeah, good. Yeah, in, in a way, we, we built churches in music. Yeah. Yes. Our own musical religion. Take Me to Church. Was that in there? It That's was. Cool. Didn't quite scrape didn't through. Didn't make the best of oh. all time list. Um, with differing opinions. Yes. Crazy. <laughs> we <laughs> have to split the difference a lot, but then often I would just be the louder voice and get a few like uh, "Shake It Off" by Taylor Swift into the best of all time. That's crazy. And then when we re-listened <laughs> to the, no, but then we went back and listened to it, and it was compa- we'd hear like Bohemian Rhapsody, and oh, then we'd hear song. like um, <laughs> what's another great song like Stair, um, "Stairway to Heaven." Stairway to Heaven, and then Awful. we'd hear like uh, I'm forgetting good songs, Wonderwall, and then like "Shake oh, It Off" God. would sneak in, and then we're like, mm, this probably does need to drop out. And then Zach came up with a ten prong system. Wow, here for we how go. To judge this a song. is so in depth. This is and so funny. And it has funny. to get eight points. Yep. Okay. So this is the Zach Trahan. Okay. It's specifically my taste. Yep. How to rank how good songs are. Okay. And I might not remember all ten. I think I've got. I hope you out. Ten things. What could even be one? Like. Other okay. than it sounds good. Jordan, give me your favourite song and we'll go through it. My favourite song? Or just a good song. Okay, a good song, All Falls Down. No, one I know. Oh, <laughs> I have to okay. know, sorry. Uh, hmm. One Dance. No, Hotline Bling. Hotline Bling. Yeah, you know the Hotline Bling. Okay. Yeah, Hotline Bling. So, number one, is it a bop or is it groovy? Yeah. So, I think, yeah. It is groovy. Oh, sorry, you have to add to my Number two. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're actually allowed to play. <laughs> okay, Number yeah, two yeah. is, does it have good drums or a good beat? What's it like? Dun. Dun, 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 yeah, I'm going to say yeah. Oh, two so that's points. That's two points. It's got to get eight to be in the best of all time, by the Whoa, way. Okay, okay. Uh, number three, are the lyrics interesting? Hmm. Pretty much all rap songs get a pass. Not this one. But it's know, not what, my opinion. Uh, really, yeah. I don't get to chime you in on this. You used to call me on my cell phone. Well, yeah. a lot of these are easy points to get. So if you're not a basic love song, oh, okay. you, you usually get a pass. I kind of is a basic love song. <laughs> Does he do any rapping in it? No, it's just like, no. you used to call me. This has got a pass for lyrics, but it definitely to. shouldn't have. No, nah, I think maybe that's a no on lyrics. Like, can you get half points in the system? No. Nah. Oh, okay. No. It's, it's all on so nothing. That's a, that's a no on lyrics. Uh, Keep it on two, yeah. Then does the song progress as it get as it goes on and keep it interesting? Yeah, it's got a bit where it goes, you, you, you. <laughs> and it always gets me. It always gets me. You guys know what I'm talking about. Because he always says just you. And then there's one point where he says it four times in a row. And that is that the only progression? <sighs> Probably. All right, that's a no. Ah, okay. It's not looking good. He's got to go 100% from here. Yeah. Um, the next one is like, are the chords 
chord progression is it like interesting don't know what good? that means i'll be honest it's a bit of a musician uh snobby one by me yeah yeah there's a lot of like four chord pop songs that just use the same chord progression and they get a bit stale oh after listening isn't to that hundreds. the same as the last point or is that different? No, the song progressing, like it can go to different places. Oh, yeah, like... Take you there. Even if you just add in more instruments, that's progressing. Oh, okay, okay. Then we have... Uh, then we have, is the instrumental interesting? Yes. Like, does it move around a bit? Got, yeah. yeah. It's, oh. They're like... So, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a pass on that. Hell yeah. What are we sitting at? Three out of six, I believe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it hasn't made it. <laughs> hasn't, it hasn't made, made it. it already. Uh, Spoiler alert. Unfortunate. Yeah, we'll still rank it though. Okay. Um, we've got, oh, I, have to think, Jason, I know what any? two of them are. One's the X Factor. Yeah. We'll save the X Factor for last. Well, the, what's actually last <laughs> is X-Factor? what I'm thinking of. <laughs> what's the other two? Is it iconic slash have I heard it? Yeah. Has Zach heard it? <laughs> Which yes, it gets a point because it's so pretty iconic. Good that that's <laughs> I agree. It should iconic. not be on anywhere <laughs> near a rating. Not be on the rating. How do I know it before I hear it? Yeah, or- Zach is very like, if he's heard a song, it's instantly a better song. <laughs> to be fair, that is kind of how it goes, hey. Thank you. I it, don't think like, so. No, because if you've heard songs and then you hear it, you're like, wow, I, this, I know it. <laughs> I don't think that's a good way of objectively rating songs. It is true. I don't that's think a it subjective should be, way of Yeah, it should it. be on the list. Now, guys, if you're doing this song ranking at home, uh, comment below and I'll try to reply <laughs> to some, saying if I know the song so you can give it the point. Uh, and then we had one point allocated to Jackson's opinion. Yeah. Which one point. One point. So, so Jackson funny. either gave it a yes or a no, You've basically. Copped it on this, Jackson. So this is more Zach list, yeah. I feel. I've like, given it a no. On Hotline, Hotline Bling. Bling. Definitely a no. Ah, uh, well, Kendrick's happy with this, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Brought that Relevant. Around. Yeah. So you've got four out of eight so far. It's a failure. I've, it's I've just a total one failure. There's one of them that I can't remember. I feel like it should give up now. It's got I think like one a of them was is the second verse different to the first? I don't oh, yeah. think it is. It's kind of similar to the song progressing. But so I'm, big, I'm a big fan of the second verse being a bit of a shake up. Like if it sounds different. Yeah. Uh, example, kids. The second verse cuts everything out and it's like, the water is warm. This is awful for <laughs> people to listen to. No, I like when they add in the ad libs. Yep. Yep, that's a good one. Sure. Hell yeah. I want to rock right now. They do that. And does Hotline, rock right <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Does Hotline Bling do that? <laughs> I don't know. Jordan doesn't barely know his favourite song. <laughs> no, I, you said this song. This is my favourite song. I you said All Falls Down. Don't even know that one. That's a banger. Uh, and the last point is for X Factor. Yeah. There's a few different ways that a song can get an X Factor. Okay. Number one. <laughs> Two singers. Two singers. <laughs> Damn it. No, yeah. it's a fail, unfortunately. If you have more than two people, that's that's an instant X factor, an easy point. Oh, an fuck. interesting instrument or sound. I think it has that, surely. <laughs> boom. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. You know, that's pretty funny. Uh, not not doing it for me so far, oh, Okay, okay. No X factor yet. Anything else on if the X factor? It's got a key change in it. Don't know what that means. Yep, that's a no as well. Damn it. And funny. Yeah, if a song it's is funny, funny you've got to give it the funny. Why is it Hotline funny? Bling's, I think it's got to be one of the funniest songs okay. of all time. No. <laughs> what? Claim? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because it's just silly. No, I would say funny is like Gangnam Style, but it does Why? get a point. Why is Gangnam Jordan, funny? Jordan, it does have an X Factor. It does. And that's if it's attached to a meme. Oh, yes. X Factor, which Hotline Bling it is, is attached definitely, to Definitely, yeah, him dishing out the shit in the music So video. if you're a meme song, you instantly get two points from Zach because that's an X Factor knocked off and Zach knows it. That's two wow. points straight away. A huge You can start to see how it's a bit skewed. You know what I think might be the best song ever? Go on. Somebody that I used to know. Is that in S? That was in, that was in S. Holy shit, Jackson. You have good... Sorry, Jordan. You have good taste. Oh, thank you. Well, I think it's just... Apart from with Hotline Bling... That wasn't mine. That was Jackson. <laughs> Why did you say that for your favourite song? Oh, falls down. That's got to be an S tier as well. Anyways, I guess that's enough about that. That's very. Yeah, there you go, guys. Good. Use the Zach song system uh, at home and let reply, me- and we'll let you know if I approve it and if Zach's heard of it. Oh, we'll, we'll try, but there won't be many. <laughs> that's good though. That's a good way to spice things up on a yeah, you- long journey. Sorry, you can only get one point for X Factor, even if you've got multiple. Yeah. Thanks, NX Generation. Great question about the. Uh, <laughs> about the system I'll be answering any follow up questions <laughs> we should do this as a Patreon mini segment we should do a bit of the car song well, game I was saying with Jordan that if we, oh, our Patreons uh, any of them are musicians they should submit songs and we could rate them unfortunately That's you great. won't have heard of them should so we make they're going to make it hard should we make a post now 
Sure. We could do that today after yeah. this. Yeah. We're going to record some mini segments after this podcast today for our patrons. If you're not on Patreon, it's patreon.com slash underdogs pod. And we're going to be going over the lucid dream I had recently. Jordan's history lesson. I uh, do I have a history lesson prepared. We yep. haven't watched a movie, have we? No. We haven't. I've got to send out the new movie. Uh, but then we'll probably be doing some more song. We'll do some song rankings too. That might not we be should- today. We should give people a chance to actually send them in. No, we should just play the game. I want to play the game now. Although I'll just lose to you guys, actually. You want to play the game against us? Yeah, but we use my playlist. No, yeah. we don't. No, that's great. That's great. <laughs> Is it Zach and I versus you on your playlist? Yeah. I don't know. That's pretty funny. Uh, so, uh, yeah, because we haven't done some mini segments in a while. Sorry about that, but there'll be some more soon. Yeah. Yes. Anything else happened on the big journey or that's... Oh, lots That's of a stuff. lot of it. Lots of little things happened. Uh, we saw a platypus in the wild. Whoa, I've never seen a platypus no, in the wild. I. Where I are they? Think, yeah, in the water. You would like, never believe how not jealous in, my mom was. No, uh, I'm so everyone jealous. Everyone I told, they're like falling asleep unless I tell them about platypus or dog in the tackle box. And they're like, holy <laughs> shit, I wanted to platypus see Platypus is thing. crazy because it's like a mythical animal, really. Yeah, it is. <gasps> it's pretty hard to find. No, in terms of like, it's hard to find. I don't know where it is. And... It's like seven animals combined. It's like a legendary in Pokemon. Okay, actually, Wait, is straight up. Sorry, is. what are the seven animals? We need this. I don't know. Duck. Yep. Beaver. Great. Yep. Dog. I love it. Yeah. Um, keep going. Cat. You're nailing it so far. Seven. Cat. You're nailing fish because it. underwater. Yeah. Fish. Yep. Platypus. See, I don't know. I haven't done my research on this mystical uh, legendary creature, so I don't know the Give other me three. Best shot. You're I'll doing g- great I'll, so I'll far. I'll Google what seven animals make up a platypus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I've got th- three. Got Have four. I said? Have I said dog? Yep, you got four. I've got four with dog. So dog, duck, beaver, fish. Uh, it's got a bit of otter as well. Yeah, oh, yeah. Love that. Was and that. it has some, oh, what's it called? Turtle? Yeah, it lays little eggs. turtle. I think it lays eggs. We saw some turtles near it, so they're and, probably bred. Yes. And the seventh and final creature that makes up a platypus is- Mole rat. Mole rat. Yeah, yeah okay. Mole rat. <laughs> Naked mole rats are sick. So a platypus, that makes sense. But what? Bit of a wild, bit of an X factor. That Someone, just, mole X factor. Someone just said three here, oh. but it was beaver like tail, duck like bill, and mole rat like body. Mole rat. Tell you what, you did. Pre- uh, if you want to know what a naked mole rat is, think Kim Possible. Yeah, Ron Possible psychic. That's so true. <laughs> no, Ron Stoppable, is it? Yeah, I, don't, I don't know, he's but he's stopping. a little yeah. rat. That's yeah, a, it's mole a naked rat. mole rat. Wow. Man, they're so freaking sick of platypus. Look at platypus. this shit. <laughs> uh, platypus is crazy. Did you like go, did it go up to it or was it too scared? No, no, it, was, no it was from afar. They're pretty oh. shifty little creatures. They would just pop up for a little bit in the river and then they'd go back Duck down. Duck back they down. Feeding. They'd come up to chew, apparently. They I got up like, to chew. Yeah, like they catch food in the water and they come up and eat it up there. Because of what? Why well, not oh, underwater? I, I didn't ask it. I guess I wouldn't want to chew underwater. They probably underwater. don't want to get water in their mouth while they chew. In their bill, in their duck. Don't want to ruin bill. their palate. Yes. I want to keep that clean. Wow, I would have tried to chase it or, so, or capture it or something. Well, what? you're not jumping in a brown river. Yeah. Oh, well. You just said you had no idea where platypus are and you're like, I would have chased it. They're in a fucking river, dude. Brown river? Yep. What's that? It wasn't very nice. Oh. It says, do not sue me, might risk infection. Err. I wouldn't have done that. That was me that? after a few Guinness, Brown River. Am I right? <laughs> no, it helped your <laughs> bowel movements. Uh, you not enough, me. apparently. Oh, no. Because <laughs> he doesn't eat any fibre, I've learned about Zach. Yeah. Oh. Don't, don't really eat fruit, despite visiting all the big fruits. Uh, yeah, actually, fruit on camera- have fibre? I thought- yeah, do they? Wow. On camera is me eating a lot of fruit at these big fruits. Um, Zach not pictured. Well, no, definitely not the big banana, right? No, no. no bananas. I got fried banana for breakfast. Oh wow! Good. Okay, it was. I good. I was just trying to battle my fear of bananas at the big banana. He was very brave. Oh, true. I was very brave. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. <laughs> what about other fruits? Do you like any other fruits? Uh, oh, I love. Pineapple. I like all the fruits Ooh. that are basically candy. I'm just the worst. They're all candy. They're all candy. Yeah, but some some I don't apple. like. Apple. Oh, man. Which one don't oh, you like? Apple. What don't you like? Uh, name a fruit. Apple. Yes. Good. Good. But okay. I never eat it still. This is a pretty fun game, isn't it? Um, Let's go with nectarine. <laughs> never eat it. Strawberry. Don't know if I've tried a nectarine. Strawberry. Great. Blueberry. Great. Blackberry. Ooh. Wow. 
bit weird how that was the only one he doesn't like. Yep. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Blacks everything else so far. (laughs) Whiteberry? (laughs) (laughs) Now they're going. Um, Oh, fuck. (laughs) It sounds like you like a lot of fruit. You like every fruit other than blackberries. What are you Berries are great. How many fruit? There's not that many fruits. I figured out. what What don't you like? Uh, bananas. Yeah. <laughs> we know that. We've, co- we've covered that. And blackberries. <laughs> Stone fruit, like plums and nectar. I guess I've never tried them, really. You should get on. Dude, fruit. Now that I've been. I've oh, been trying get to- fucked. You had a kiwi fruit I one know, month but ago. Now I've, been trying to, I've been trying to cut weight as of recently a little bit. And oh, fruit. Like, I've just been eating so healthy. Yeah, fruit's so it's good It's been amazing. You. And fruit. Oh, just have fruit instead of f- dessert. It's like, it's God's dessert. That's and why it I tastes better, better in my dessert. opinion, actually. It does. When you mm. actually and you don't feel like shiatsu after as well. Yeah, it feels better mentally and taste wise when you get into it. It's got a lot of vitamins, and vitamins are quite good for you. So this is a bit of an intervention. <laughs> <laughs> but I figured right. that out. I feel like it's just the advertising that gets you. What? That oh, chocolate tastes better than an apple. What's a better advertisement than a big fruit, though? That's true. Well, it didn't work, so point obviously. For the, <laughs> point for the fruits. But guys yeah, at home, I reckon for dessert tonight, like just have a strawberry and as you eat it, close your eyes and be like, this is the best dessert of all time. And make sure no, and brainwash no one's yourself. watching you while you do it. Unless, <laughs> while you close your eyes and sensually eat a strawberry, make sure your dad's not come around the corner to I catch you I reckon make sure he is watching you. <laughs> I I you lock eyes with him. Yeah, and like, I reckon brainwash yourself into thinking it's like the best dessert ever. You don't need ever. to brainwash yourself. It is the best dessert. No, no, no. But then you will taste it and it is the best dessert. Because otherwise I feel like you can brainwash yourself into thinking, ah, oh, it's just fruit, not <laughs> real dessert. And then it doesn't taste that good. I don't know what you're talking about. It's just like enjoying anything. Is that brainwashing? Yeah, yeah. just enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, good. but brainwash it. No, don't. That's how it works. You got to brainwash yourself. Yeah, yeah, I don't think I ate any fruit in my whole trip. No, except avocado, you, which is fruit. basically not a fruit. It's kind of just like God's butter if we're doing God's things. Wait, I'm lost. What's God's things? Well, J- Jordan said fruit oh, is God's it dessert. It is God's dessert. So right, I'm so saying it's nature's butter. Avocado, avocado is God's butter. Oh, what else have you got? Avocado is so good. Um, that's it. Damn. <laughs> I don't have, don't have him lined up. God's, what else has God up to? But I reckon if you, if you really think God's about beer. it. Yeah, God's beer. If you really think about it, I think if you gave two in front of me and you'd have to say what tastes better, I reckon uh, 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 apple tastes better than like an LCM bar, actually. Brave. You're a hero. <laughs> <laughs> don't you think? <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Fuck you, just yeah. gotta, you just gotta eat it, guys. Dude, apples are God's LCM bar thoughts. <laughs> you just gotta, all you have to do is brainwash yourself. And you do, an you do. Okay, I think I'm thinking like this because we started, Holly and I started watching a documentary, very good documentary. Uh, I forgot what it's called. So, the Century of the Self. There we go. And it's about, in psychology, when they discovered that you can influence people to do stuff. It's crazy, crazy documentary. Because right. back in it, it goes, it goes to the start. Of, of what? like human, no, like, let's say nineteen fifteen. That's the start. That's the start of what? I don't know. Selling people stuff. Okay, advertising. And they used to sell shoes by being like, "You need to wear shoes because it hurts your feet if you don't walk in shoes." Yeah, and that's how they would sell everything. Like just being practical. And like logical about it. I think we should throw it out there. Shoes, I think, were long before 1950. No, but for advertising to buy them with okay. actual advertisements. Yeah. And then psychologists figured out, hang on, people aren't straight logical. Let's be like, you should wear these shoes because you're cool. And then it took off. And wow. that's... So it's like... So, so how would you how advertise works. fruit to me? Like... It's w- healthy. It's God's... No, no, no. <laughs> healthy is too logical. <laughs> So I no, need I feel like that would make... work for you. I'm no, not a good. It? I'm not a good um advertiser, unfortunately. I don't know. It'd be like. So well, it's gonna be like fruit will make you cool. But it'll be How like what? Are, what that? are chocolate bars do? Oh, if you eat this, it's like you get to relax. You deserve some relaxation. What are Have they... an apple. What's that? That's Cadbury? how they do it. Like, That's how they do it. That's wouldn't how they do it be it. nice if the world was chocolate? Yeah, they wouldn't it be one? nice? You get to sit down, have a relax. You deserve it after a big hard day. You should have a Milky Way. That's what what they'll do. That, that was, that was well. a pretty good rhyme off the bat. I think the problem is that, that like farmers can't really advertise exactly because they can't make that much more of it without a lot of effort. Exactly, they can make a lot more chocolate easier. 
There's um advertising for bananas in Australia. Have you seen those adverts? No. Uh, you probably look away. Yeah, I do. <laughs> 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 it's like nature's energy and stuff. And they put it next to a God's energy. <laughs> literally, I think it's quite literally what it says. I wonder oh, if I get all these But I bet up. they're not as good at advertising as these other companies. I think it's actually quite good. It's made me start eating a lot of bananas. Whoa. Banana advertising Australia. That's, That's cool. But it's just a really good documentary. There's some really good ones. Like cigarette companies. Only men used to have cigarettes. And then the, the companies were like, bro, we need to figure out how to get women to be start having some cigarettes. And then a psychologist was like, don't worry, I've got this figured out. And so then they got all like the top, I don't know, whatever models or beauty like That's women right. to like go to a, a, like there was a rally, a women's rally or something. And they're like, at this women's rally, have a smoke. And now it's a sign of like, You're women cool. are on the level of men's equality. And then women just started smoking everywhere. It was like a feminist act. It was a feminist act. And, right. But it was actually, secretly, the cigarettes companies were like, how do we how do we get the women on this smoking? How do we get people watching the Underdogs podcast? <sighs> it's a feminine act. <laughs> it's a feminine. I don't think we can <laughs> That's sell That's going to be that. a very tough sell. <laughs> I reckon it's a feminine We act. just need like all the biggest women to start watching the Underdogs podcast. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'll Lizzo. hit up Kim K. You get Taylor Swift and Taylor then Jackson Swift. gets Michelle Obama. Thoughts? <laughs> yeah. I think you've picked out great women for us to contact. <laughs> like it suits us. <laughs> How does Taylor Swift suit me? It's right up your alley. Why? It is, isn't it? <laughs> How does Kim K suit me? Do- oh, my God. Tell me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, the squats. Yeah. You've seen a gym video. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And Michelle Obama. <laughs> Doesn't need to be said. Goes without saying, doesn't it? <laughs> um, here's a banana advert. Unwrap some long-lasting energy. Oh, and it looks like a looks like a chocolate looks bar. Looks like a chocolate bar. Yeah, but it boosted banana sales according to this. When it said unwrap and kind of had, I was thinking some kind of dick joke. I reckon Maybe that's just me. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever your so thing, funny. make your body sing. I think it's because because they used to like do the banana condom demonstrations. Is that what you don't like about them? No, that's where my <laughs> fear it, comes from. Actually, <laughs> get it away. <laughs> <laughs> bananas. Everyone should have a banana. Why, it, why don't you like bananas? <laughs> uh, just <laughs> been over this. <laughs> You're have. allowed to not like a few things. Yeah, bananas are my main one. Damn. That's banana, so true. Me, me and you on the banana team, we miss him, don't we? You're wearing all the banana merch. That's the funniest part. Yeah, should we turn around, Jackson? I already showed the page. Oh, I suppose I haven't shown the actual page. We should show the... Uh, I haven't even oh, seen you this. You showed the Harvey Bullock getting out. Yeah. It, well, <laughs> guys, it's a Can matching... Can you show sh- me, Jackson? It's a so, matching shirt for those that are... Uh, oh, that is a big banana. Me. We went to... You really left me out in the lurch here as one of the banana boys, which uh, we didn't really talk about, Can you actually. go in it? Yeah. Whoa, that's good. There was a whole fun park attached. Inside the banana had like the history of it as well. Yeah. Terrible. The first big fruit. It should be a cafe. There there was was a cafe. The banana banana wasn't actually that. The big banana, not that big. Terrible. That's so offensive. That's such an easy... Oh, man. If anyone wants to create a restaurant, first of all, halves, great idea. But if you're not going with halves... What's halves? Don't worry. Oh, sorry. The perfect idea. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Just make a big fruit. And then make your cafe in it, and then they kind of have some fruit-themed stuff in it. That's so good. Sort of what this place does, I guess. Maybe that's my life goal. Whoa. Make one in Perth, outside my house. Mm, probably not. Actually. What do you do? That's, the big avocado. Do they have that already? Docked. Yeah, that was the worst one we saw, probably. Yeah, I'll make a better one. Make a better one. And I'll make it in a cafe. Because people love avocados at the moment. Yeah. It's all the rage. Mm-hmm. And then you could sell avocado toast, avocado smoothies. And my pop wow. actually owns an avocado farm. Oh my God. Perfect. Holy shit. I'll build it at their house. No, they don't want to get doxxed either. That's perfect this though. This sucks. Easy company. Uh, what about the big boiled egg? <laughs> <laughs> uh, just Maybe just egg in general because it gives you a few more bases. No, no. No. The big I, boiled egg. The big I, I boiled like egg. It, Jackson. I yeah, probably wouldn't you. go, I'll be honest. And we serve soldiers. I'll go. You'll go? That's really young. I have been hanging out to have soldiers and I haven't done it. 
I haven't had that in a while, although I have been having more eggs, eggs recently. That's what I've been up to while you guys have been away. <laughs> oh, enlighten me. <laughs> <laughs> we did. It's funny. Jordan and I saw each other yesterday. And we went for a walk for, what, 40 minutes or something? Yeah. And we would have talked for 30 minutes about Jordan's progress. And I talked about going around Australia for about four minutes, probably. We don't what do you mean just, your, no, your It wasn't progress. your fault. Not I was just progress. more interested in hearing about your... No, it wasn't gyms. my progress. Oh, it was both, it was our both gym of stories. our gym. We were You're talking right. about the gym in general. We talked about like the gym and eggs and nutrition for a long time. And then we talked about the uh, the journey for about a minute. But to be fair, we were saving it for we'll today. Save it for the but anyway, yeah. let's get some of that. Your yeah. journey. Jiu-Jitsu update. Jiu-Jitsu update. Not doing jiu-jitsu. Bah, bah. What? I know. What the fuck? Well, what happened is, okay, here's what happened. And then it kind of invoked in me enlightenment. But what happened was... Well, elaborate. <laughs> well, you already kind of know. I know, but I'm probably excited. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, well, my jiu-jitsu gym, more, I would always go to the morning classes. Done. Cancelled. Oh. In the bin. I was like, oh, man. Hang on, I'm not that sad. Oh, shit. Whoa. What's going on here? And then I had a bit of a think. I was like, you know what? Maybe I was doing it a bit too much. And what was I actually doing it for? I think I got a bit caught up into doing jujitsu, trying to get good at jujitsu, spending a lot of time on it, getting injured, all that kind of stuff. And I was like, hang on, do I even like doing it that much? Took a step back and I was like, hmm, I don't know. I think I've got to start thinking for myself more. And then started gymming more. Very fun. Like, Liking do you that. still do it at home or do you go at gymming? to the gym? Oh, now? no, just at home. Just at home. Although I have been looking, I'm like, maybe I should do jiu-jitsu like once a week or once every two weeks or something. Mm. So I've been looking to try and find another more chill gym. But Who wants to get into climbing with me? Oh, well, I don't know if I I'll get into it, but I feel like it might well. be... It might be the go. Climbing seems, seems like so good. You would get gets so addicted. Into climbing gets addicted, and I have an addictive personality. I, I, this, this, and that's a healthy thing to get addicted to. It is. It is. But yeah, for me, I think I realized I got addicted into jujitsu ju- too much, and I was like, "Hang on, this isn't really benefiting me. I need a." But climbing might. No, so we no. Can- I'm, I'm, I'm more on the page now. I was talking to Jackson about this. I'm like, okay, I need to get my priorities. Just think about it first. Then dive into those and then everything else, kind of do, have fun, chill with it, exercise so, with it. So is anything replacing jujitsu, or what are the priorities that you're, what are you spending more time on? I think on? just YouTube, just spending, spending time, time with, with Holly. Me. Yeah, well, spending time with friends. I should be spending some more time School on, I think. School of Smash? School of Smash. Well, I'm already spending a good amount of time on that, but yeah, just Classes YouTube in. and stuff in general. Yeah. And um, Man, you've had a whole fucking life revelation without the underdogs distracting you for a couple of weeks. I know, I know. But <laughs> I feel like, I don't know if you guys have ever had this, but like you're kind of just doing something because maybe doing you're already something. doing something. Yeah. Like you're doing something because you're doing it. I think going through it. the motions is And one you're way doing it or maybe like, because then you're at jujitsu class and people are like, yeah, you're getting better. Or like, yeah, yeah keep improving. And you're like, oh, I'll get home and spend some more time on that. But it's like, hang on, take a step back. Why am I doing this? I could probably spend this time on improving on like, yeah, something else or like just spending that time in general on something that maybe is more beneficial and jujitsu is fun, but is it really like doing it three days a week fun? I don't know. Damn. But so I've been enjoying life a lot actually, which has been good. Also done boxing for one lesson. That was fun. Ooh. That was, Holly and I did that. And what? yeah. What? I don't know. We just did like a boxing lesson with like some friends and that was fun. With the actual boxing coach, by the way. This is sounding very weird. Yeah. <laughs> but it's been good. I encourage everyone to maybe take a step back and like... Have a think about your life. Think about things when there's no influences going on. Like, it's the best time actually is after if you guys meditate. I feel like that's always the best time when your mind is most clear. And you're like, okay, what should I prioritize? And then do that. Yeah, I'm trying to get... I think you get sucked into things. Trying to get back into my routine since being back. That's always the hardest time. Yeah, yeah, meditation was banned when we were away. Yeah, was, Wait, what do you mean? Exactly. Jackson would start meditating and then I'd start singing about eating beans. That's yeah. so rude. <laughs> no, that's, that's so didn't evil. Happen. Oh, okay. That was okay. a joke. I'm, no, I'm meditating, but go back into the gym, obviously. Got, um, obviously, because you can tell. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> um, the gym's so good, I've been discovering. It's the best. It's so good because it actually takes. We were talking about this yesterday. It takes such little time. In Realistic in the grand scheme of things. Compared yeah. to like, if you want to get good at anything else, I feel like it takes so much more time to improve at something. But gym, it's like, realistically, you could spend like, I don't know, four hours a week. Yeah. And that's like a, a you lot. You will see improvements. If you, if you really send it for those four hours. We were comparing it to like 
if you go to a Smash tournament, it's like six to eight hours. And that's like, and oh, then which spending one time out really of it. really better for you? you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> or like as well, like even any skill, like for me with jujitsu, it's like maybe I do jujitsu four or five hours a week at class, but then it's like, oh, but I want to improve at it, spending another whatever, four hours or so trying to improve mm. at it. Jim, it's like, man, you can get a lot out of it just by going there and sending it. Well, I guess you improve just without doing anything in between. There's no, like yeah, you, you don't need to at your intellectualize and that it sort of stuff. But then much. it's really just like you go hard in the moment, and then it's like it's your body just fucking grows the muscles in between. It's such a good time. Make sure to you get enough sleep. That's a massive tip. Oh, that there is good. Go. It, yeah, it's, it's, it's such a good time to reward ratio. And it's like direct as well, as we were talking about. Especially when you start out, you see a lot of improvements pretty quick. So good. So no, I want to I want to get in on that. Stack more. A bit. Are we time? Uh, about an hour so far. Sounds good. We've done well. Anything else you've been doing in the last few weeks? No, nah, that's about it. I've just been, yeah, been very, very enjoying. It's kind of come back to, do you remember that thing I was talking about ages ago where I was like, hmm, like this sounds really stupid to say, but it's like, I think I just know, not everything, but I kind of know everything I need to know. You know what I mean? Like, what more do I need to actually you know? More know? than all the old people. Exactly. Sure. I just yeah. kind of need to be like doing, doing stuff more. Because I feel like, I feel like everyone has this where there's things that you just, you probably know more than you do. And so it's better to focus yeah. on. Yeah, you made a video on that. Yeah, I feel that, like it's just been so good this year. Just focus on doing rather than knowing. Yeah. I, I'm bad with that. I get yeah, sucked hard. into a few rabbit holes of like <laughs> wanting to learn stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Why'd you laugh? Was it because of me fucking talking about all the gym shit? You just know so much about the gym. Yeah. Because I went down a rabbit hole once and then I just retained the information. And then, well, that's good. Yeah, it's it's good in some ways, but then in other ways, it's like some of that time could have been better spent going more. Yeah. yeah. But it's, like, it's, it's more like the in-between. Like The in-between? Like I was, I would like work out and then I'd be like looking at like videos to like get the tips and like the best exercises and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then it's just taking up too much time basically. Oh, that sounds good though. But yeah, it's, it's like, like the opposite it of what you're point, saying. Yeah. It gets to a point where it's like, man, you kind of just know enough. Just do it. Well now. Yeah. yeah. It's great. Cause I know enough. And then it's just good. And you just do stuff. Me and Jackson were teaching each other a few things. A few tips and tricks. Oh yes. We went to the gym while we we're on the road a bit. Went That's to cool. day passes. Bit of yeah. The that gym was good. Partner. Yeah, gym boys. I did that once with Peter for our gym video in yeah. preparation. That was good. It's good doing it with a friend because they you'll, you'll do a new exercise or something. You get a new better, exercise. Actually. You also get someone looking at you from like it's like a in person vod review. Mm. Whoa! They get to analyze you, <laughs> and then it also it's good motivation. I feel. Yeah, yeah. I, I tend to be like sort of not competitive, but like when I'm with someone, I'm more likely. It to just go brings hard. it out for yeah, sure. You're just like I think it's like an ego. thing. I'm not trying to like beat them necessarily, but I'm just like, oh, like you're doing that. I'm gonna do it because <laughs> yeah, of course I couldn't touch you <laughs> because you're in that group environment. Yeah, that was the yeah. thing with Holly and I, we did our, our boxing thing, and it was just like again part of it as well was like doing some exercise as well, and it's like you're in this group with other people who are also doing it. Yeah, and it's like you're gonna push yourself harder on like like we did a bit where we we're like it's a boxing thing, and then you do some squats in between yeah. you box and you squat, and it's like. I don't know if I would ever push myself this hard. That's why people like classes. I never used to understand why people go to gym classes. Mm. You know, when you're like in a big room with 20 people and they're like, all right, let's do this circuit. Let's go, guys. Yeah, and I would just feel like, oh, rather not. But I get why, because you're not less likely to give up when you're in a group. Yeah. Which when the you buy yourself, you're like, being, all good. Yeah. <laughs> same with sport is just great for that yeah. as well. Because sport is just like, yo, it's just fun, man. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah. Uh, I posted my engagement video while we were away as well. If you yes. guys saw that. If you didn't. Oh, sorry. Just to interrupt. But that camera went out. Should we just keep going? It's yeah. kind of near the end. All right. Sorry. No, Start again. My bad. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, I posted my engagement video while we were away as well. Yes. What Holly, did you guys think of that? Holly and I saw it. Very lovely. Thank you. Lots of lovely comments. I think Holly cried. That's nice. I think I cried. I, I don't know. I, didn't, oh, I didn't you don't know? Cry. I don't know. Maybe. How do you not know? I can't remember. It was a while ago. <laughs> Jordan cried in sadness because after our kiss, he had fallen in love with me. It's sad. And it was so <laughs> yeah. sad to see. No. No. Why wasn't That's I great. going? Um, no, but that took... Because I feel, I feel like because I started editing it in August last year, that was like a big weight off. I finished it just before we went away on this trip. Yeah. Because I'd been like very slowly editing it. I'd like... 
Have you ever had like a project that you're just a bit too much of a perfectionist on with editing? <laughs> yeah. Me. Ironically, so Zach, not, I was going to say made me watch it, but we watched each other's videos. Zach watched the long one where I make people watch the boring documentary. Oh, yeah, I can't yeah. believe I hadn't seen oh, the whole seen, thing. Yeah. That. That's um, a funny one. And that was the same one for me where it just took me forever. To oh, I kind of hated that because that's what I kind of got when I did that moment where I was doing like the Street Fighter video and stuff mm. like that. But I just kind of like, oh, I don't like this feeling. So I left it. It's a really hard feeling. Oh, right. Like you cared more about those videos. So you, they took longer? Or? And it was just like the idea of having a big project kind of almost took me back to like school when you've got like this it's big stressful. assignment and you're like, oh no. And yeah. anytime you do anything else, you feel like you should be doing it. Yeah. That's I how I kind felt. Of had, but that's probably because I also wasn't as passionate about those yeah. as well, which would have added to it even more. Made it more like school. Yes. Yeah, I was probably a bit too passionate about this one, but it was again like sort of an like looming over because I was doing other videos while that was in the background. Yeah. And I'd like edit a bit of the engagement video and then I'd get to a point and I'm like, oh, I don't really know how to do this part. Mm. I guess I'll leave it for like a month. Yeah. And then I'd come back to it and I'm like kind of figure it out a bit because then I get like re-inspired. But then it was that over and over. I mean, it was really and good. Then, it was a very well done video. Yeah, but- I'm really proud of how it came out. Um, except there's one like cut that I accidentally left in and it kind of... There's like one little part that I don't like, but <laughs> no the rest one of else it? is going to notice. No. Only you know it. We were talking about But it's like as concept. I get down on one knee. The, anyway, that's oddly specific. That bit was so funny. The... <laughs> Just like I saw the comments of it, like because I saw the comments of it and they pointed out, and then I saw it, and it's just like when the guy's like in the balloon, congratulations, <laughs> and he sends it on the Dude, on the tank. balloon. His name's Tank. Yeah, tank. Tank. Oh, oh, that's so There's good. There's actually a bit of a story behind that, and it's oh, because really? he. So this is a bit of a behind the scenes. Tank in the hot air balloon was like giving me the thumbs up. Oh, because it's Cause like, like, was he doing that a lot? And then it's like, it's going to yeah, be he silent. Was doing like, because like every time you do the heat, the air balloon rises. Yeah. So he was like getting us like nice and high. Then he kind of was giving me the thumbs up. Oh, but I didn't have homie. my like camera set up. The way I got the camera set up, by the way, is I have this like tripod. So I hung it off the side of the balloon. That sounds terrifying. Kind of unstable, yeah. but Agreed. yeah. I thought straight. Worth it. You were, you were pretty brave with your cameras. I would always be like, oh, what about if that falls when we oh, do like holding shots? them over the edge? Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Let's get the shot. Yeah. Um, so I had that hanging over the edge and I do a lot of travel videos. So I was saying to Maddie, like, oh, I'm just going to get a shot of us, like looking out at the view. And she was like, yeah, whatever. Shut up. I'm looking at the view. <laughs> and then that was when I did it. Cause Tank also gave me the thumbs up, but it took me quite a while to get it set up. So he hadn't used the hot air balloon heat in a while. Oh, he's slowly so we were sort down. of starting to descend. That's why he was like. Congratulations. I think on the congratulations, <laughs> it was almost necessary to blast that's the so hot air balloon. Good. No, that's good. He's kept it silent for so long. You yeah. Gotta, like, out. Tank was It'd a homie. It would be so funny if I was just like, will you map? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that um, was great. But yeah, I guess because a lot of people didn't even know you were um, married or engaged until then because people yeah. were coming to like, I think I was live streaming like a couple days ago and people were like, did you hear Zach got engaged? And oh, I was wow. Like, well, yeah, it was like <laughs> last year. I kind of forget how many fans there are that are just YouTube. They wouldn't have like Instagram. I think I posted it on Twitter, but yeah. that was maybe like 5,000 impressions. Yeah, when you think about it, it's like probably like 5% of people. views. Yeah, yeah. I so, forget about that as well. Like, I feel like we'll talk about something on the podcast and I'll be like, ah, everyone knows yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, nah, maybe like 1% of people know. Yeah, But uh, no, the video's banging. So thank you everyone for watching it. And... It's yeah, an emotional that, one. That was good. It and was now, good see, that was kind of the problem, like you were saying, Jordan, having like the overarching project just adds like just a bit of stress to every day of my life. Yeah. It's a feel tiny like for, little layer. For me, it's like, I feel like I need to really just focus on one thing at a time and yeah. kind of send it at that. I, feel, I don't know. It's probably a thing you could just get over as well, but. That's what I'm trying to do now. Like I'm doing like one video I send to the editor, one video myself. And when like, when either of those are done, then I can like focus on the next one. Yeah. Otherwise, Before there's too many to do... things that you're trying to juggle all at once. Yeah. It's a bit weird. I agree. Yeah. Like I was trying to learn how to lucid dream while I was <laughs> filming a different video while I was trying to organize like two other locations for other things. That's then... another thing that brought it back to me with like the whole jujitsu thing and like trying to be good at too many things at once. And like you kind of just end up not 
that doing that good at any of them yeah. really or like not spending enough time on any of them simplifying your life i think is very underrated yes having like pick a few things i feel like life really rewards you for like just send it at a couple things everything else and kind be of bad fun, at for fun some stuff yeah be bad at some stuff it's all right have fun you'll be fine Yes. Should On we, that note. Should we end it there? Yeah. Yeah. Be bad at some stuff, but not being bad at listening to the Underdogs podcast. No, be excellent at that. Be, that should be in the top three. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for listening and we'll see you next week. Bye. Do you guys do cardio? Fuck no.